talk about IDN in, in general. You've had a lot of driving like training, but talk about just the IDN concept and, and how that kind of factors into what you're doing. The IDN approach told me how to do something, not what to do, right? Hmm. It taught me, it, it gave me an approach instead of a technique. And I like that because I think a lot different than most. I'm an outside the box thinker. And it's like, okay, I saw you treat an ankle. I saw somebody else treat an ankle. Well, I'm like, well, I'm going to add A, B, and C. But I understood the neurology behind it and how I was affecting the structures. And so a lot of the people that I mentored early on that were calling me, I'm like, look, do the IDN stuff first. And then if you want to try something else, if you want to get broader, try it. And what I have found is I've, I've changed my approach, but the difference is I, I thought I changed my approach, right? No matter what, I was still going after neuro, you know, neuro points, because at first we learned, we learned homeostatic points. We learned all these things, you know, from um, segmental points in the spine to everything. And I think as the knowledge has progressed and honestly, after you took over and started explaining it from a neurology perspective, and even though like I kind of started doing stuff because I just do things because they work. And then somebody like you or like Mark tells me, oh, no, that's why. I'm not the why guy. I'm the do it guy. 